what's up everybody um i'm gonna try and make this video as quick as possible so okay it's obviously the made it to tiktok which has really gotten my attention this kevin samuel guy right <laughs> hold on y'all okay so he is a image consultant i want to make sure i say this right and an advisor um at least that's what he uh, told Tommy. Okay. You have choices and options out here, ladies and gentlemen, of what it is that you want to accept as far as information, affirmation, and knowledge into your mental into your life overall you have you have all these choices you have all these options you don't have to take the advice it's a choice and sometimes when you take the advice it's because of the simple fact it's things within you that you've been feeling this whole time and sometimes when people put things on the table no matter how they put it on the table the perspective can either resonate for your mental to allow you to believe this is what's wrong with you and this is how you're going to fix it. It's up to you. But myself, me personally, I rather not seek that type of structure, that type of advice, um, that type of information from certain type of people. And the reason being is because my thoughts on some people in this world, they tend to create an audience off of the things that they say, but they don't back up themselves. And what I mean by that is this Kevin Samuel guy, he has the advice for you. He has all the information for you to correct yourself to view yourself he's not there to put himself on the spot to view himself and to him he's high value to you you're probably less than an eight what is your dress size you know how much you make uh who you are as a person can you cook you know things like that it's up to you to accept these type of perspectives that are placed on the table. You don't have to. It's a choice. And if you allow yourself to believe what comes out of someone's mouth that does not back up what they are telling you, that's on you. That's on you as an individual, as a person. I refuse to attack someone's character off of the things that they do to thrive to make their money. The only thing I'm telling you is, myself, I would never listen to such things from certain people. I just wouldn't. I'd rather sit at a table with people that are going to make me uncomfortable, that have experienced things, but have also progressed with things. See, Kevin Samuels, Samuels, he has been through things, but as far as progression, off of the things that he's preaching to you, forking and feeding to you, taking your money and advice that he's giving to you, he's not displaying that himself. If before you sit down and someone share and listen to them give you advice about what is wrong with you, what you're doing wrong and how you can fix it. Focus on what they have done in their life on those three spectrums. Okay. Cause if you can't, if they cannot tell you that they are progressing the same way, as far as women that they are, or men that they're dating, whoever the advisor is, or they've been, I'm, I'm going to just say it like this. I don't necessarily take advice from people that have been divorced. I just don't. And it's even worse when you've been divorced twice or more. 
reason why I say that is because if it's you that keep getting divorced, then you are the problem. Your significant others, they're finding someone and marrying them and moving on with their life and leveling up while you, on the other end, you're still out here dating. And especially if you're 45, 50 years old and you're still out here dating and you're not looking to thrive to settle down. I don't want to sit at that table because those type of people, if they cannot give you those three things that they point out to you, what's wrong with you, what you do wrong and how you can fix it, and they don't d demonstrate that, then why are you still sitting there listening to it? Why would you even take that advice? As a man or a woman, why would you be listening to it? What good is it? What is it benefiting? Some of y'all making thank you videos and you're still going through the same turmoil and same pain and you're not leveling up like you thought you would. Y'all thanking people and out here that are toxic themselves. And I'm not saying Kevin Samuels personally is toxic. What I'm saying is you are what you listen to. You are what you eat. You are who you associate with. I just choose not to sit at that type of table. When you sit here and put yourself in a box off of numbers, figures, sizes, the looks, all of that, there's no room for love. There's no room. Take that back. There's no room for true love. There's no room for true foundation of building with one another and actually tapping into something that can be beneficial towards a marriage. I said what I said, and I'm not taking it back. You know who you are as a person. You don't need somebody to evaluate you and tell you who you are as a person. You just need you. Look inside yourself. And fix yourself. You don't need all that extra stuff. You're already down. So what? You're going to allow somebody to kick you even worse while you're down? Or you're on your way. So you're just going to allow somebody to come and insult you and bring you down? Doesn't make sense. Y'all have a good day. I'm out.